Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I would like to talk about the mining changes done in 319, what they bring, what issues they are trying to solve and whether they actually managed to do so. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. Let's start with the main problems the mining update tried to address. First of all, no one was FPS mining. I actually did a full video about this issue a few weeks back, so you can go check that out for a longer explanation. Next, players would to some extent avoid multi-crew and use the mole solo or bring multiple prospectors for mining. And finally, only a select few elements were mined because they offered the best profit. So let's start with the small changes. First of all, there was an update to the mining mode UI for ships. It's a major improvement and definitely a step in the right direction moving forward. The new UI is easier to understand and generally looks a bit less cluttered. Moving on, another small update but a major quality of life improvement. The multi-tool mining attachment now has an extraction mode. This has been requested since the beginning of FPS mining and now we finally have it. It is pretty janky and the flying gems can push you or hurt you but definitely an improvement. The other change to FPS mining is the addition of a new FPS mineable, Genolite. It is very rare and very valuable. Now, have these changes made FPS mining more attractive? Not really. The extraction beam is a great quality of life improvement, but the new mineable is not really that big of a deal. It is very rare and you still have to go to a cave to get it. I stand by my thoughts from my previous video on FPS mining, so feel free to pause this video and go watch that. Let's move on to rock mining. Rock mining didn't change that much. As far as I can tell, the changes to the mineable properties and the laser are minimal. However, the updates to mineable spawn probability makes rock mineables more common, which is also good. I am actually starting to think that rock mining is the entry level mining loop rather than FPS mining. And finally, let's talk about ship mining, because it has gone through almost a complete overhaul. Starting with the mining equipment, the mining lasers, modules and gadgets have been completely rebalanced with new values. This made all of these pieces of equipment unique in their category and allows us to create very specific mining loadouts which is an amazing change. On top of this, mining lasers now have a minimum power setting. Which at first glance doesn't make any sense, but it fixes a problem that has been present since the release of different mining heads. Before 319, if you apply two lasers at the same rock, even at zero power they would apply their modifiers, which in groups would greatly decrease difficulty. The new update prevents this, but also adds some difficulty to mining smaller rocks. But overall, this change combined with the rebalance also ensured that the stock loadouts on both the prospector and the mole are actually very capable and give you a good starting point for upgrading. Next, this also comes with a complete change in mineable spawning probabilities and mineral properties and sale prices. Minerals contained in mineables are now split into common, uncommon and rare. A mineable will always contain a common mineral. Uncommon and rare minerals will appear as suggested by the name with various degrees of probability. CAG have also introduced a greater range of mineable sizes, where some will definitely require mole and some might even require multiple moles to crack. There are also very small mineables that can be extracted right away. Mineables also now tend to spawn almost exclusively in clusters of multiple rocks of all sizes. At first glance, this is really the only questionable part of this change. As a prospector pilot, you will mostly be encountering rocks you can't crack alone, but trying to use multiple prospectors increases difficulty. Where on the other hand, the mole can effectively mine almost every rock it finds, assuming it is fully crewed which would put prospectors at a disadvantage. And this is somewhat compounded by the changes to multi-crew mining. The mole now has a stability bonus when multiple lasers are mining the same mineable. On the other hand, using multiple prospectors incurs a penalty. This definitely promotes multi-crew gameplay as CAG intended, but it might also seem like prospectors are now very limited in their use. But from testing I can tell that the prospector is still very useful on its own and even better when working together with a mole. So as far as I'm concerned, CIG did accomplish their goal of encouraging players to group up. But it doesn't balance out the changes to mineable size and probability. And the final part of mineable changes is that certain minerals will only appear in certain locations, which is supposed to promote trade. This also came with a rebalance of mineral sale prices, so that minerals that were previously less valuable are now more valuable. The intention was to push players towards mining other minerals rather than just chasing the rarest, most valuable ones. 
So CAG did end up fixing the Quantanium meta to an extent. By making it extremely rare and increasing the value of minerals like gold and borase to make them more competitive. Obviously, there will still be people chasing the top tier minerals, but I think this change makes mining more accessible and lowers the barrier of entry. Because combined with the changes to mining equipment, the rental prospector can now make you a decent amount of money even if you are new to mining. There was also a minor change to refinery balance. As far as I can tell, it was just a small tweak of refinery specializations and refining method properties. Unfortunately, it failed to address the major issue of refineries. As you may have noticed, all refineries are permanently overloaded. This could be due to multiple reasons, but the most likely explanation is that just like trading outposts, refineries share the same resource pool across multiple servers, which is clearly too small. So until ship refineries are introduced, the only sensible solution would be to increase this resource pool significantly. I would also like to mention another new feature, even though it's not directly related to mining. In 319 we are able to detach components and weapons from our ships. This extends to mining bags. This actually creates an interesting opportunity to have a cargo ship running the full bags to the refinery. This however doesn't work. First of all, cargo ships can't refine the contents of the mining bags on their cargo grids at refineries, which is an interesting choice. But this probably had some internal issues, but it is still possible to refine the contents if the bag is attached to a mining ship. So technically you could use a mining ship to do the refinery runs, but that doesn't make sense. Also as far as I know, these bags can't be purchased in stores, so that complicates things as well. And the final problem is a bit weird. It was my understanding that all mining bags are the same, or at least that's what we were told with the prospector concept. But it turns out that the mining bags for the mole are actually bigger. This is not that big of a problem, the mole and prospector bags are compatible with both ships. But nevertheless, it seems like detaching mining bags won't be useful until the expanse is released. However, it could be interesting if CAG added drop-off points to refineries. Basically, convert the now unused landing pads to areas where you could land your mining ship, detach the bags, place them into a machine that would store the contents into the station storage from where you could later refine or sell them. This would probably also be faster than running to the refinery deck. So what's the conclusion? Is this mining update good? I would say yes. It fixes some balance issues with mining and to some extent encourages multi-crew gameplay. I am sure that most of what was released in 319 will be balanced further in the upcoming patches, but we will have to see how that works out. Ultimately, I think the only disappointing part of this update were the changes to FPS mining. CAG wanted to encourage players to do it, but I think they failed. Some players may also argue that the prospector has been nerfed quite significantly but I still think it has its place in the mining gameplay loop. And with that being said, that's it for tonight. What do you think? Have CAG made the prospector obsolete? Are these changes an improvement? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.